The Cal Poly football program's spring season has ended abruptly. KSVY reporter Dusty Baker is live at Cal Poly for us. And Dusty, why is a team not playing the final three games? Yeah, Nino, what a weird situation. About 16 days ago, I was standing right here talking about the start of the 2021 spring football season, and now I'm talking about having it come to a close. Cal Poly electing to end their season with three games still on the schedule due to health concerns relating to injuries with their players. Everything that went into that between, you know, myself, you know, athletic director, president, all, all of us uh, collaboratively, um, making, in my opinion, the right decision for the health and welfare of the student athlete. Some guys made a decision that said, do I want to play these next three games or do I want to defer my enrollment and play a full schedule in the fall? And a bunch of our starters decided that they were going to do that. And that's their decision to make. And we supported them in that. Cal Poly's shortened season cut short due to numerous team injuries following a rushed off season. We were at a point where we were well short of of having enough to travel and that would be bringing every single eligible body that's healthy. They're young men that should be redshirting, you know, not going up against 21 or 22 year olds for 60 or 70 snaps. The Big West requires 64 players to travel. Cal Poly only 49 healthy bodies, leading to the only question being was playing in spring the right decision. With the data that we have, uh, we probably would have not. But here's the, the flip side of that is if we hadn't, and we're all sitting here perfectly healthy with a healthy team ready to go, chomping at the bit, wondering why we're not playing. That's the other side of it. Financially, the move won't hurt the school since no fans were intended to attend games. It's going to be actually probably a little bit of a savings, but not enough to make it factor into the decision in any way. And with future opponents Northern Arizona, UC Davis, and Weber State understanding the move needed to be made. Really nothing but support from those three. With position vacancies due to season ending injuries making the decision clear. And there's one position specifically, we have zero. As a result of the most unprecedented college football offseason. You win games from January to August. You don't win them September to December. Yeah, so of course, Nina, this is the end to the weirdest spring season we've ever seen. Cal Poly ends their season at 0-3. And, and Dusty, one thing we also wanted to know, was this decision at all based on having COVID-19 cases? Nina, it was actually not. There were no COVID-19 cases. In fact, Cal Poly started the season because all of their players were healthy. It just happens that with the lack of preparation and time to prepare for this season, all of these injuries took place. Cal Poly is hoping for the fall of this upcoming season that with a full off season, they will actually have healthy players going into next year. Reporting at Cal Poly, Dusty Baker, KSBY Sports. All right, Dusty, thank you. Cal Poly fans can turn their attention to September 4th of 2021. That's when the Mustangs open their 2021 fall season against UC San Diego.